America, the internet. Can I say a black man? He was clowned on by the world. Let's take a look. Everyone's already posted this. I, I, I was late to it because I think it happened like Monday. But as you guys remember that Zoom, you guys remember the Zoom call with the dude who showed up to, to, uh, to his court hearing on Zoom driving a car and the court hearing was for a suspended license and the bro just had like a like an internet reset in his brain are you driving um, actually i'm pulling into my doctor's office actually so so i'll just give me one second i'm pulling in right now at the second yes i am he's being so friendly too isn't he yes i am so maybe i don't understand something this is a driving while license suspended that is correct your honor um, and he was just driving mm, and mm. he didn't have a license. Mm. Uh, I'll let him speak. Uh, I'm sorry. He's suspended and he's just driving. Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Uh. <laughs> I love the honk he makes. Okay, so that's what happened. Man says nothing. And he gets called in. He's fucked, right? Well, there was an update. There might be an update to this update, but here we go. Here's the first update. And if there's another update to this, please get it to me. Get it to my desk. Get it. Put it in chat. Put it on the subreddit. First, let me show you this. And we'll start here. This is where I am in the story. Today, Corey Harris talks about why he was behind the wheel, but he also says he should not have been charged in the first place. Oh. And seven news reporter Kimberly. Well, what was I thinking? I was, I was thinking about getting my uh, wife medical help. That's that's what I was thinking. Corey Harris was cited for driving while license suspended in Pittsfield Township back in October. Okay. He said it was suspended for unpaid child support. By the way, let's not. OK, everyone's like free this man. OK, but bro, like not paying child support is like, what the fuck? That's like not right. OK, hold on. Let's continue, though. Sheriff state records show his license was first suspended for child support back in 2010. God. Harris told us he thought his license had been reinstated. They were supposed to have been lifted it two, two years ago, but they didn't. And according to the Saginaw County court records we found, Harris is right. In January 2022, a judge rescinded that suspension on his... Okay, so here's what everyone's saying. He did have the license to drive. It's license, but for some reason, that information never got to the Secretary of State, where even as of today, his license is still listed as suspended. So what is it? I don't know. That is correct, Your Honor. Someone um, who understands law driving. explain what so happened. Turn himself in will result in a bench warrant. I get, okay, so here's my problem, right? First off, Mr. Corey Harris, speak! Say something, right? Like, hey, wait, my license isn't so supposed to be suspended. Like, at least get that out. Because this clip would have not gone viral if he would have gone, hold on, I don't believe my license is suspended. Now, granted, it, it still wouldn't have gone well for him. But he goes, wait, no. What was so funny about this is he just, I'm just saying, all right, maybe pay that child support, buddy. With no all bond. Right. Always double check be behind these workers because they will say that they will do something and they and they don't do it. So here's the funny thing. People defending him. I'm getting word now that apparently he never had a license and there's a third update to this story. So hold on. We need to look into this right now together. There's a new twist in the case of the Michigan man who joined a court hearing for his suspended license via Zoom. The judge, in this case, revealed he's never had a legal license in his entire life. Ah, no wonder he stayed quiet. Good advice. Corey Harris was in court. This dude is kind of shitty. I'm just going to be real. I think this dude is, uh, you know, two crayons short of a, uh, of a light bulb. You know what I'm saying, guys? The proceeding then was shared online, every social media platform. Okay, we get it. During Wednesday's hearing which should have been only lasted a few minutes. It was close to 30. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're watching it. Hold on, wait a minute. I kind of want to watch it. Did this just come out today? This happened six hours ago. Oh my God, I'm so invested. How are you, Your Honor? We will see. We're good. <laughs> we're good. Who the fuck is Samsung SMA156U? Name? And it's just this low, what is, what is happening here? Is this woman supposed to be here? <laughs> well, and I, I want you to know, counsel, that because of certain things, the court has a number of things I have to say. Okay. Because I have, because I think the record, given particularly some of Mr. Harris's comments, people 
are saying, and quite frankly, your client has made the assertion that the Pittsfield Township, as well as this court, was acting on some type of defective or faulty information, which Ooh. I will tell you, counsel, caused the court, given what the court did, to investigate what my ruling was. Ooh. And I will tell you that that assertion is absolutely correct Ooh. Ooh. with reference to any faulty information that either came through to the Pittsfield Township Department of Public Safety or to this court, ultimately, at the May 15th hearing. I'm so sorry. Could we get, could Samsung SMA156U, could you please turn off your cam? Whatever's going on here, this angle is so not working. I feel like I'm competing doing a reaction stream right now. And I think it needs to be stated. I've been asked for comments. I have refrained from comments as my normal practice is. This court with a pending case will speak on the record. And so I am going to make sure that the record is very, very clear as to what this court knows and what this court acted on on May 15th. So I will try to get through this as quick as I possibly can. Bro, but I Corey Harris about to get dunked on. You First of all, with any reference to your client having had a license Here on that day it. and some indication or misunderstanding as to whether or not he had a license, let me make it very clear, based upon what the court looked at, he has never had a Michigan license, ever, and has never had a license in the other 49 states and commonwealths that form up this great union. He has never had a license. In point of fact, when they suspended his license, and what people don't understand when they suspended his license in Saginaw, they don't suspend the license. They suspend the privilege to drive in the state. Hence, for example, if he had had a Kentucky license, he would be able to drive everywhere that Kentucky would allow him to drive. He just couldn't drive in Michigan because his privileges had been restricted. But that wasn't at all said. But it doesn't matter because he didn't have a license. Oh, see, Corey, you're a fucking bitch, bro. You're going to all these fucking news organizations trying to get all the they're doing this. They're di like, bro, you're not even licensed to drive in this state. The suspended license was for a different state. And this this state, you don't have a license in. He's never was. E oh, come on, bro. Come on. Ever. There was also then and his license was his driving privileges, better stated were unsuspended in 2022. That required Mr. Harris to do something. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you can go get a license now. And he went, I think I'll just drive. He didn't do it. Therefore, the friend of the court was under no obligation to send anything to the Secretary of State. Now, I hated that I had to look at all of this, but when there's a question as to what I did, I'm going to look at everything to make sure that what I did was all in order. He don't like that he got a little bit dragged when Corey did a uh, like an entire news run. The other part of this is this stop was in October. And, and because I don't live under a rock, I actually watch things. You look very nice on TV. Thank you. You're welcome. There was, he's like, I'm going to school this client and I'm going to have a little dessert too, baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Something that was sad. It was very disturbing to me. And I'm just going to let you know, because I believe in being fair with everybody. Uh oh, no. He, he actually buttered it up to, to slap her ass down. The question was asked along the lines between October of 2023. And the point in time of the May 15th hearing, was there an attempt by Mr. Harris to correct his license? Ooh. Here's the part that was disturbing for me, so that you know. Okay. Mr. Harris indicated that at some point he had been involved in some accident. And being involved into the accident that he was basically bedridden or at least housebound, he could not get to the Secretary of State. That's not true. Okay. He purposely stated that he could not get to the Secretary of State, which for the way we handle things in this court would have placed him in a whole different I'm sorry, I keep seeing it. It's driving me crazy. He's you guys already pointed it out. He's wearing a fucking shirt that says trust me. Corey, like God bless him. I don't want to I don't think he's an evil person by any means. Man is fucking stupid. Like he's just not there. And the reason I know that is because Mr. Harris, on December 28th of 2023, do you know where you were? Oh no. December. I know I was lay I was laid up from from my You're at the Secretary of State's office. And you're at the Secretary of State's office because you re you redid and got your new Michigan ID. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> what a joke. Even his counsel, like you're what this is the clown show, dude. Oh my God, bro. How do you not know that you're going to get caught with that? I have the date. That's the date you did it. December okay, who is this? Oh, this is this is name here. This is Samsung name given commentary because her mic's not working. Whoa, Judge Breeze sees. Yes, he did. Samsung name. Are we like brain rotifying court now? Oh, counsel brought receipts. Like, yeah, they've been doing that for years, bro. Like, that's evidence. You cannot have both. You either have an ID or you have a license. One of the two. Oh. He has religiously every Ooh. year. Ooh. <laughs> 
have gotten a new ID. And so he knows that he doesn't have a license. Ah, zinger. That's it. That's, oh, he got him. That's it. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, honestly, at this point, what's it, his name's Corey. Corey should be like, you right. All right. All right. And quite frankly, I just wish he would have said that at the beginning. And all of this hoopla could have been just put all aside. I'm done. Damn. For now. Damn. I'm sure I will have something else to say. Whoever, whichever one of you would like to speak first, you may. Yes, um, I spent yesterday at the Pistol Council Police Department with Officer Monastere for the traffic stop in this case. At the traffic stop, I, with, when I was at the police department yesterday, we watched the body cam video. At least twice during this traffic stop, he acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Corey's a kind of a, a shitty person. Like, he's doing all these news interviews. Oh my God, bro, they got you on camera saying it. Not his fault. Not his fault. Which, I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a chance before I ban you. Can you please, in plain English, tell me what aspect of him going around lying to the press wasn't his fault? Well, first thing I'd like to say is, I wasn't in court. I wasn't even on YouTube watching the court today, right? I saw it because someone saw it and decided to make a, decided to post it. I can assure you that that was not Mr. I don't think he has the capacity to be able to post it like that on YouTube or, or Instagram. So that was not him. And it happened to take, take off and go viral. Why? What we want to do, and I cannot say anything is with respect to what my client has said, but when we talk about the hoopla, my client didn't start the hoopla. Perhaps he's made some comments, but he didn't start the hoopla whatsoever. That was some. You know what? God bless her. She's doing her job. But who is she? F I just saw the judge. Who is she fooling? Like, I, I get it. She's got to say this. That's what she's there to do. And I appreciate her. The judge is us right now, though. That was outside of his control as to how it went viral. He Look no at the judge. I'm gonna stand on like it. the judge just ate something so bitter. <laughs> With respect to. Dude, this is a judge. He can't even sit still, bro. What's going on with Samsung? Did he have a, a I don't want to try this case today no at all. But what I want to do is focus on what's good. Now, what was good? That day in October, this officer here, that could have gone a whole other direction. And I'm so happy that you were so kind and courteous to my client. She's like, can we look past like all the bullshit he did? Let's move forward with this. He is here. I would ask like- <laughs> Sam's like melting. Like, because- Absolutely. Yes. yes. I would like to move forward too yes. on this case. We handle these cases all the time. The one thing I don't like is when people don't take responsibility for what they do. Yeah, dude, go off, judge. But when they take responsibility for it, we will use whatever we can to try to get you to another spot. But how do we go forward? And that's why, and that's why I'm here. To sort of minimize, you okay? Can he, he, he did get into an accident. Maybe now, maybe now. please, Your Honor. Right behind, oh, hold on. Okay. And now that's real, that's a real injury. I, I have no comment. Okay. I'm so with the, I don't know if I could be any more on the side of the judge here. And you know what's funny? I came on to stream today and I was on Corey's side. This dropped while I was live, or I didn't know about this. This got revealed to me while I was live. And now I'm sitting here, I could not agree more with the judge. His attorney pointing out that that's real was kind of a blunder in my opinion. And you got to see that in the judge's reaction. He's, he's like, I'm not gonna comment on it. He clearly has an opinion on it. I'm not saying Corey's faking it. I'm just saying, no, you know what? As the judge said, no comment. Like SpaghettiOs. Like I said, excellent attorney with a plan problem is, there's another shoe to drop. <gasps> Spoilers, name, spoilers. Counsel, you probably didn't know this and I wasn't sure where the prosecutor was gonna be. He's got a warrant. For, no, I did not know. Yeah. I want every single person in this chat, all those fucking cope people in chat, where are you now? He's got a warrant. For, no, I did not know. I feel so bad for his fucking counsel. Yes, he has a warrant for his arrest. Okay. The shocking thing about it, it's for a driving while license suspended. Oh, dude, this might be the greatest court story of all time. <laughs> what the fuck? That he didn't take care of. I was hoping, maybe, that somebody was going to try and take care of it because I'm sure if you had known, they would have been done. Because as I understand it, he is right now not licensed. So if he goes in on Thursday, gets his permit, he's got to drive for at least 30 days. Apparently he knows how to do that part. Sorry, that was, that was I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't need to say that, but. Bro is so casually, oh my, I love this guy, what the fuck? He knows how to do that part, but then he's got to go back, take the In front of him, too. They're in the same room. Test, right. and then he can do that. He may be able to accomplish it in that time, that 45-day period. If not, I mean, I'll, 
I just want him to have a license. We, we all want the same thing. Man, I feel like, and I could be wrong. I don't know this guy personally, but I feel like Honorable Judge Cedric, Cedric, I don't know how you would say it. I feel like he's a good guy. I feel like he's one of those judges who's like, I want to help you. Let me help you. Quit being fucking stupid. I mean, that line he just said, hey, I feel like that it, speaks to his his heart. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to take him into custody on the warrant. The only question that I have, is, and the way I look at the warrant, is the bond is, looks like $500. Cool. We're going to take care of this. All right. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We'll see you in August. Okay. Defendant is remanded on the Allen Park. Sir, you can go with my baby. Thank you. Damn. What, hold on. What was that? Hold this on. This bond will continue us. Thank you. <laughs> little Yusuf jump scare there. <laughs> Chat, I, I think I could watch these all day. And gone. Get him out of here. I don't want to see. Oh, back. Hey, oh, fixing the hair. Well, I certainly did not expect that. That was fascinating. That was good.